but he says you've omitted the weightier matters. Now look at this, and, and this is what I want to point out though in, in who a Pharisee is and what they are omitting. Because people will condemn you as being a Pharisee because you want to follow the law of God. Well, what does he say? They've omitted the weightier matters of the law. So they're leaving out big sections of the real, the real big sections of the law. Like what, Jesus? Judgment. Amen. Oh, you're not supposed to judge. Well, the Pharisees are being rebuked because they've omitted judgment. Well, <laughs> hello. You're so judgmental. Yeah, and the Pharisees omitted judgment. And they're rebuked by Jesus because they've omitted, they've left it out. They're not judging. It's this wicked world that's, that's put it in people's minds that judging is a sin, that judging is bad, that you can't judge anyone. Why? Because people who are wicked don't want to be judged. But who is supposed to be able to judge but someone who knows the word of God and can say, thus saith the Lord. Because ultimately God is the judge. But you know what? We need to be shouting from the housetops that God is angry with the wicked every day. But that's judge, judging. You better believe it's judging. I know it's judging. Everybody judges. The real hypocrites are the ones that say, oh, judge not, judge not, you can't judge. They judge by saying judge not. They're judging you when they say, don't judge. Why are you judging me then? You're saying, I can't be doing what I'm doing. You're fine with the perverts doing everything they do and broadcasting in the daylight and broadcasting in front of kids. But when it comes to me, oh, you can't judge. You can't say what they're doing is wicked and wrong because that's judging. You hypocrite. I guarantee you there's way more people. And again, I, I, I don't know. I don't think these posts and stuff were public. But it's the same old thing. If you've ever been involved in anything like this, I called out some sodomite for being a faggot. And basically, I don't even remember exactly what I said. It doesn't matter. But I guarantee you there's way more people offended that I called him a faggot than the filth that he was spewing in the comments yeah. and the disgusting, sodomite, pornographic words that he was using right. to condemn me. No one had a problem with that. But you know what? I got called out on for saying the word faggot. That's how backwards this world is. It's like right. he could just, just vomit the most filth from his mouth in words and nobody cares. And no one's going to say anything about it. No one's going to say, hey, maybe you shouldn't be saying those things because that's disgusting and perverted. All right. All right. Oh, but then that would be judging. Well, you just judged me when you said, oh, don't be calling him a faggot. Well, you know what? That's what he is. If the shoe fits, wear it. That's right. I'm not the one lying. He's the one lying about it, right? Because yeah. all these stinking sodomites, these homos, they want to say, you know what? Their biggest, it's funny because their biggest... Their biggest way to cut you down and to make you feel bad is to, is to call you one of them. Right? right. right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Seriously. It's like, oh, yeah, well, you probably, you probably like doing that, too. Yeah. Because they want to make you mad, but it's like, but that's what you do. I know it's so bad. You know it's so bad. You know it's so bad because that's why you want to, you can't think of anything worse to call me than what you are. But people get more upset about the one calling out the wickedness, oh, you're judging, than they are at the person who's filthy and vile and, and disgusting. The brainwashing has worked wonders. Wonders. I mean, I, I, I can hardly believe it. Especially in, 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 the, in the, the years that I grew up in this country, in the, in the early 80s, just nobody would have given you a hard time for calling someone a fag. That's right. Ever. Ever. That thought never crossed anyone's mind to say, oh, don't do that. To now. And then people look at me like I have two heads. It's like, well, you grew up in the same era I did. But now all of a sudden you've been told that it's wrong. 
So you're just going to go ahead and, oh, that's wrong. Your favorite celebrity said it's wrong, so well, it must be wrong then. Your weak, watered-down pastor says, oh, it's wrong. And instead of reading Jesus ripping face in Matthew 23, they're going to quote one verse and then just talk for an hour and tell you what's right and wrong over and over again until it's just locked in your brain. Wake up. <laughs>